Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Tonight we are continuing with Wolfenstein, the New Order. Uh, this is a surprise stream. I wasn't supposed to stream tonight, but uh, circumstances led that I was able to stream. So, so be it. Um, all right, let's jump right into it. Hope that you guys had a wonderful day, Saturday. Here in Montreal, it's kind of a mixed, mixed, uh, mixed bag of, uh, of stuff. Some rain, some sunshine, some cloudiness. Then it was humid, then it wasn't humid, and so on, so I will be able to stream for a little bit, at least for an hour or so, at least. So, that is the way we're going. And, uh, yeah. So, yesterday was the introduction to the game, pretty much. So, that was good. Um, I'm going to resume. Because that's the way I am. Oh, poops. Did I forget to do something? I did. Share. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's continue. So apparently I have to clear this area. So uh I have to go that way. Thing here worth the hoot this is where you find usually you find the most you know weird things it's where you do not expect it so I think I went through that door too and that was locked and there was nothing here and there's nothing here all right I have to okay, there's a guy over there there's a guy over there. Okay. I have to go up those stairs, but I have to make it so I sneak. I don't know how I'm going to be doing that, to be quite honest. Ah, boy. All right. Um... I find that my sound is a little, the mic's a little off, I can put up there. Overrider, Raceland Ruckus, thank you for the host. Engineering Gaming Nerd, thank you for the host as well. You guys rock. Um, is there anything here that I can do? Psychosis, the great Champino, thank you for the hosts. If I go after him, um, handgun upgrade silencer. Toggle handgun silence off on off. Oh really? So. Silencer is on. I'm assuming. Anything here? No. All right. Uh, 
Nope, nothing to read here. Where did I find some... Oh, there we The hit detection for these things are is completely out of whack. But it is what it is. Whoever has joined the stream, thank you for joining. Hope that you're having a wonderful day. Uh, okay, so I'm going to the other end now. Okay, so let's go through here. Let's see what is available for us. Apparently it can't fall. Okay. That's weird. Oh, is this where the car is? This is where the car is. Okay. So this was the underground way I could have gone here. Through here. Okay. So let's see what I can do with... Handgun. Let's go up then. Um, shit. Let's see. Let's go all around and see what we can we can find. There's definitely something there. Missed one already, so no big whoop. Um, there's a big light, but there's no one here. Alright, let's go up the stairs then. I don't know where would be the more prudent. Probably going this way. Probably be more prudent. Slightly more prudent. I can't save, so. There's a place in the tunnel that I missed, apparently. Which is weird. Okay. There actually is a tactical advantage. So there's a thing here.
there apparently. What's here? Oh, well, there's nothing here. I don't know what the fuck that that's about. I have no clue what that's about. Is it in here? Oh shit! I didn't even fucking. Oh my god. Okay. Well then. That's that. Um. Okay, so I went all the way back for nothing. Alright. Uh. Let's, uh. Let's go back up. Is he going to turn the corner? Oh shit. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Is that something outside that's flashing that? Alright. Let's roam freely now. So there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Okay. Okay, so... No, nothing here. Oh! Oh, I actually found... That's nice. Uh... Okay. I think that's it. Oh, is there something? Camp Commander plans new quarry. Zagreb, October 9th, 1960. Following the discovery of more limestone, limestone deposits outside Bel Belica, Croatia, Commander Irene Engel of Camp Belica revealed her plans to build a second campsite, as limestone is such a crucial ingredient in the manufacture of super concrete, which is the building block of our new world. This new quarry will ensure that the expansion of our Lebensraum across the globe can unfold at an even faster pace, said Commander Engel when unveiling the plans to the gathered press today. Alright, anything else flashing? Oh, somebody's walking downstairs. Somebody is walking downstairs, and it's killing my mojo, you know what I mean?
All right. Oh, boy. Come on. Nice letters. There's nobody there. Huh? Oh fuck, that was close. Cleaned it. Well, that was surprisingly easier than I would have expected. That's fine. Let's uh, let's check what else is there here. Uh, knife throwing unlocks the ability to throw long. Increase the amount of knives you can carry by one knife. Stealth kills from thrown knives. Five out of five, one out of five. There has to be more here. This can't possibly be the only thing left. Right, right? Yeah. Where didn't I go? That's fine. Where's this? here. How the fuck did I end up over there? So here, I'm there. Here, I'm here. How does that make sense at all? Here. There's no place here. But there's stuff down there. I don't know if I'm supposed to go that there now or opens from the other side. Like okay. For such a big compound they had no one guarding it, that's for sure. All right. 
He's dead, Jim. from the other side. So you can't do anything. I'll get the knives if I know I can kill someone. So I'm still in the same area. Yeah, I'm still am. So there are there's still plans to discover shit. Unfortunately, I didn't find the overall map, so that means that I have to discover everything on my own. I would assume that map is at the beginning. Bastards, they don't even think about me. Fuck, you can't fucking save. For fuck's sake. What am I supposed to be doing again? Race checkpoint platform. You need to raise the platform so Grandpa can drive through. Control room's gotta be one of them towers. Too bad you can't do like in um, Exodus where you can do stealth. fucking quiet. I don't like it. Uh, there's no advantage of me going there. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Hey, still the bad guy gaming, how's it going? Yep, I finished Exodus last week, and uh, my review is coming out tomorrow. And now I'm playing Wolfenstein New Order.
so that's that. How you doing? Somebody's running. I don't know who it is. Oh, cool. The next year 15. Thank you for the host. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, actually. If I'm supposed to be going down... Your footsteps, they're not mine. Who is shooting at me? No. Nope. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be going? Okay. Well, somebody's shooting at me. Who the fuck is it? Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's the type the way to go up. <laughs> No one here? Somebody shot at me. I know. And this was never one. Oh, I could have gone the manual way or the electronic way, I guess. That's fine. It's one of those games where it's relatively short. stuff there, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, who the fuck is shooting at me? Oh. There we go. Found you, you bastard. Alright. Uh, so finally found that. Um, yeah, so it's one of those games that's relatively short. Um, so, why am I supposed to press this button again? When I'm supposed to be going down here. How to throw fucking knives. I honestly do not know. That's a dual wielding knife, but it doesn't tell me that I can throw knives. Huh. What's the perk again? Stealth kills from thrown knives. Silenced handgun. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for sure. So there's a way to get around there and there. There's nothing here. Can't go into lockers, can you? Oh, yeah, I can. What 
fuck did the other guy go? This is the other door, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing here. Alright. And what I love about these games, so there's this one, there's, um... Oh, by the way, you were in here yesterday. Um, I changed my layout a little bit from when I play regular games. So before I used to play only through my game capture. And now I play, I'm playing through Streamlabs. Let me know how you like the layout. Um... If it's too crowded or whatever the case may be. Just want to get some feedback, see if you guys like it. Also, I'm liking the fact that I don't really have any dropped frames, which is awesome. Because I had dropped frames before when I tried this a long time ago. So, uh, where the fuck? Okay, so there's nothing here. Signal detected, so that means there's somebody there. Okay. Was there anything I could do here other... Anything that's... Weird? No. Okay. So I must continue through here. Did you say you're not streaming from Capture Device? Uh, yes, I am. But before I was going directly from the Game Capture HD. Now I'm using the Game Capture HD through Streamlabs. So I have more... Um, more creative freedom with how I want the stream to look like. Because you're very limited what you can do to Game Capture HD, which is fine because it's not meant to be, you know, something like that. Oh my god, I wish I had a flashlight. Where the fuck am I? Alright, so there's a point over there that I need to go to and I haven't gone yet. Okay. Okay, what kind of device are you using? Uh, oh, cool, thanks. Um, the new layout, uh, the new, uh, well, it's not a new game capture device, it's just, it's the same one I've always had. I actually have the original game capture HD, not the H60, only because I can still plug in my old NES to it, whereas the new ones you can, I would have to get a converter. And I've had it for three years now, and it hasn't run, it hasn't, died so I'm I'm good all right I guess this connects this to the other side I'm assuming okay and I'm supposed to, and there is a part there that I haven't got not gone to yet so okay there's a guy standing there Can't load back to where. Shit. Did that count? Yeah, it did. At least I stopped the alarm. Yeah, on f and that's the worst. The thing that I, I don't like. I really, really... Where the fuck are you?
Aiming is so fucking hard on a la um, console. Where are you? I'm gonna have to go up, aren't I? Shit. Who the fuck is that? Um. Let's get this party started. Oh shit. Paris is being cleansed from undesirables. Rumors are spreading regarding a new campaign launched by the secret police in Paris. Sources we've spoken to suggest that the police are trying to wipe the city clean of what they call the undesirables. Homosexuals, people with a non arayan appearance, the mentally disabled, and so on. The list goes on and on. Men, women, and children are being taken from their homes, never to be seen again. No one is really safe from these mad dogs, said one anonymous citizen. We talked to who managed the escape, a Nazi purge raid. Escape while you can. Oh, that's actually in French. Purge des indésirables à Paris. Les rumeurs se propagent au sujet d'une nouvelle campagne lancée par la police secrète de, de Paris. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought it was in German. I just assumed it was in German. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, if you want to see uh, previous reviews that I've done, um, in the chat right now, there's Wol the Wolfenstein history. So I've done a, his a brief history of all the Wolfenstein games starting in 1981 till, uh, till Wolfenstein 1. But I reviewed Wolfenstein 1 and Wolfenstein 2. I didn't do the Old Blood, uh, the new, no, the Old Blood, yeah. Uh, only because I couldn't. I never played it. And I actually thought that I didn't finish this game, and apparently I did, and I don't remember, which is not a good sign. Next out. Oh. Move in here. Oh. Okay. I feel like I didn't do everything down, down there. Why is the music weird? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, let me see if I, there's anything really left. Nothing, nothing. This I read. There's nothing here. All right. Well, you actually go up a ladder and it really just goes up the ladder. Yeah, so um, I used to have my own independent website, Corporate Gamer, and then um, about two, three years ago, I had, I, I, joined forces with my brother who was doing an entertainment site and we decided to join forces and we have now a round table and that's where it is so yeah we do have our own it's not ideal it's not great but we do this in our pastime so uh, we do that on the side I do mostly I do a lot of the I do all the gaming stuff uh, my brother handles the website uh, design and the, the trailers and stuff my buddy uh, Steve does um, there's nothing else here? There has to be something here. Like, there has to be at least one thing here. Um, and then my bre my friend Steve does mu movies, TV shows, uh, music. Um, I do retro stuff, so retro TV, retro movies. So if you look at my reviews per se, you'll see like in the chat right now, Crossroads, which is an old movie. Um, Heavenly Kid. The Last Dragon, B-movies, 
Um, so yeah, and if you're interested, um, on our website, I know it's, a, I'm, I'm being stupid, I'm plugging, I hate doing this, I feel like I'm always forcing people, but um, if you're interested in the content, we have a newsletter that comes out every two weeks. Flashlight too, and it's fucking dark. Yeah. yeah, it's. I I always feel like I'm not a marketing guy at heart. I've always been a hate, a really bad sales guy. I'm a programmer at heart. So the way that I approach stuff is more of a practical, and I find that I'm always. I don't like when people shove it in my face. So I guess I inadvertently. Say the same, you know, do the same. I don't shove it in other people's faces. But if you notice, if you're on my channel, there's always a, there's always two reviews, two, three reviews that keep popping up in the chat. And that's what it is. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Nobody has ever said that to me before, but I'm glad that you think I have a perfect voice. I hated this voice for the longest time. Uh, don't ask me to start singing crooning music, because that's not going to go very well. <laughs> Clear the west section. Okay. Shit, I didn't even go through half of the stuff. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, I, I, well, we are, we do, I did have my own podcast for a while, um, Corporate Gamer Podcast. The thing is, is that I just don't have the time to put in to do a decent show. So I did about 24 podcasts. Um, it was once a week, um, but it was a little too intense. So I'm thinking of, I stopped in August 2017. I'm thinking of, or 2018, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of, redoing it but maybe revamping it and incorporating it in my streaming so i'm thinking of maybe doing a um, um you know like one night a week instead of streaming a game i do podcast content like just talking and stuff like that um and then releasing that on youtube or whatever um it just it's too much work to edit and to do a bunch of stuff i just don't have the i just don't have the time I, this is my side thing <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a job during the day, so it's hard to... Uh, hey, CoinOp, thank you for the host. Greatly appreciate it. Yes, and my alerts worked. Yes. Nice. My alerts actually worked. Far out. I think I was just trying to stretch myself thin. So I was doing two podcasts. I was doing the Around Table podcast, uh, which has not been regularly uh, regular, and I've been doing. I and I did um, uh, Corporate Gamer. And the thing is, okay. So let's see. So going there, I'm actually okay. So what didn't I do around here though? Let's go here. If I stare that way and I go straight, there's things I did not discover. And I don't know why. How did I end up? This is so, like, this map is ridiculous. Like, look, I'm, look at where I am. Look at where I am now. Like, it does not make sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, coin up. I have not forgotten about you. Um, I got to the post office too late yesterday, so Monday I will be shipping it, and I will let you know when your package has been delivered. 
or being sent. And if ever you do not receive it for whatever reason, let me know and we'll work something out. Like, how come these guys... Run is not safe! Nazis down there! Shoot the Nazis! We wait here! Shut your fucking pie hole. Uh, where is... I'm close to a fucking general, but I can't really... Like, the AI is retard... is really stupid. Oh! Yeah, I have to cut down this, the length of my alerts. It's too long. I apologize for that. I didn't think they were going to be that long, and they ended up being huge, so I apologize for that. But thank you for the bits, coin up. It's not necessary, but it is appreciated. can't fucking... Where can I save? Like, where did it save last? I'm assuming right before... What do I have in terms of... Yeah, that's not too much. That's way too much. Let's do the handgun thing. How much do I have left for the handgun? Oops. Perks. I used to be a huge fan... Not anymore. I pretty much stopped increased damage when using silent handgun. Stealth kills using silent handgun. Ah, stealth kills. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I used to be a huge fan. I used to. I actually still do. I don't have it with me because I brought it at work. But I have um, uh, an original heavyweight belt. I used to have the Intercontinental from the 80s, and I had the heavyweight belt from the Steam. Uh, Steve Austin years, Stone Cold years, an exact replica. I'm I'm not a fan. I, you know what? It's boring. And I, the thing is, this is this is what I've been telling everyone. Angry Gorilla, thank you for the host. Um, I. So if I look at the wrestling from the eight, so I woke up. I woke up. Yeah. Well, that didn't work out. That wasn't stealth at all, apparently. For fuck's sake. Alright, let's try to be stealthy. Um, in the 80s and 90s... Uh, oh, even then, I can't. So, I said this... I don't know if I said this with you on the stream, but um, I did say this at one point in the stream. Um... There are, so I grew up in the 80s, so for me, um, apparently I don't need a health. Um, so I grew up in the 80s and 90s when you had characters that were bigger than life. Let it be, it was you know uh, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ricky Steamboat, Junkyard Dog, Ravishing Rick Rude, Stone Cold, The Rock. They were bigger than life characters. And But the thing is the key word was characters. Now no matter who you're watching, it's the same type of guy trying to make his way in um, there's no storyline there's no you know before you had the sto stupid like characters that you know they were stupid but you know whatever they made the show right they were even if they were just fillers 
now you have, you know, you have a bunch of muscle men just going ape shit, and it's exactly it's two guys. Bro no, before the Chicago street fight was a Chicago street fight. It wasn't. Um, you didn't have to go and uh, and beat up everyone, right? So yeah, it just it's it's. I just find it's it's not worth it anymore to watch it. And you know what I liked? I went to go see a while, a long time ago. I went to uh, not actually not a long time, actually not that long ago. Um, I went to see. Um, uh, I don't know if you remember Jacques Rougeau uh, from the Rougeau brothers, and then uh, Rougeau was be became a um, the Mountie at one point in the nineties. Um, and he continued wrestling for years. He's been wrestling, uh, even though he wasn't in WWE, he had his own wrestling school here in locally because he comes from Quebec. And um, he used to, actually used to wrestle, I used to work out at the gym he used to have his school at, which is pretty cool. Um, but having said that, um, <laughs> oh, fuck, okay. Um, Nice, I'm up to five. Oh, well, that wasn't a silent one. Nope. Oh, yeah, it was. I didn't do that weird sound. Which is weird. Um... So, I went to see his family. It was It's his farewell tour, pretty much. I tried to go stealthy. That didn't work out very well. Give me a second. I will continue this conversation in a few minutes. Bombs? I thought I did. Okay. All right.
All right, return to the car. So let's time let time to review the area and find some loot. Find some stuff. Uh, anything shining over here? No. All right, so uh, I want to see a family thing with the you know with Jacques Rougeau and his family and stuff. Um, and you know what? It was fun because it was old school. 19, um, 1970s type of house show, which is very corny by today's standards, um, you know, but you know what, it was a, it was a show, you had different characters, you had, it brought, it really brought me back to when I was a kid and I used to watch, you know, rest, local, local wrestling, Maple Leaf Wrestling, you know, back in the day, now it's just, uh, I just don't, I can't, I just can't. Where the fuck am I? I'm all the way over there. Um, and it f the WWE became more of a business. And I understand their point of view. It became a business, which is fine. But it it became a business, but it be it should have it, it it lost its spirit. Wow, that was nice. I found something in the toy. Hey, look, talk about reading material, huh? Huh? Yeah. Nothing like reading some classified shit while you're taking your dump. Uh, yeah, let's continue. That's locked. Right. It opens from the other side. Oh, I came here already. So where's the fucking thing? Where is the... No, oh, that's behind it. I'm literally, it's right here. But what's right here? There's nothing. I could have gone guns a blazing, but that's not the point. That's not what I wanted to do. What the fuck is it? What What is it pointing at? It's as if like it's right here. But I don't know what the fuck it is. Unless it's... No, that just makes me want to go back to where I was. It must be something about going in here. But it opens from the other side. But I don't know how to go in from the other side. Uh -huh. Well, that sucks, bulls. Okay, so what's the other way? If I go that way... There's nothing here. So I can't really go that way. There's nothing here, really, so I can't really go that way. Um, shit, I don't know what the fuck I'm... What that is. I cleared this place. Had nothing of value. What's my actual objective now? Actually, return to the car. Yeah, but there's things I don't, I didn't explore. There's like a ton of fucking things I didn't explore. This is weird. Okay, let me do something. When I'm here, where am I? I'm here. Okay. I have to go back to my car. See, like here, if I go back here. Like I can't go back, apparently. Because I'm in the bunker. Oh well. It is what it is. I suck at this game, apparently.
fuck? Okay, I guess that didn't work out. Ah, boy. Yeah, so... All that to say, today's wrestling is kind of boring. I watched a few Raws. I've watched... Like, there's one Raw I watched. I think there was two wrestling matches in three hours. It was all talk. Well, at least I have to only return the car. Double yielding would be very nice at this point. That's not gonna be good. Alright, I wasted all my fucking bullets. Alright, let's go refill up a bit. Because I don't know when I'm going to be coming back. Alright, let's see. Oh, fuck. Should have fucking taken that though. I need to find bullets. Bullets, I tell ya. funny that it's locked. It's locked. Anyways, I got enough to go. Alright, let's go to the car. Alright, we made it.
not what I wanted. Berlin night train. Finally on board the night train to Berlin. Anya wants coffee, me too. Don't know if she wants milk, so better bring her a carton. She's waiting for me in sleeping cabin. Which way is it again? This is not going to end well. Entschuldigen Sie, mein Genie. Ich bin Ober Sturmbandführer Engel. Und das ist mein liebreizender Begleiter. Das bist du doch, Tobi. Das war jetzt mein Schatz, ey. <lacht> ich möchte Sie einem Test unterziehen. Damit lassen sich Spuren unreinen Blutes, die in den Adern einer Person fließen, feststellen. Ich bin mir sicher, dass Sie diesen Test mit Leichtigkeit bestehen werden. Und wenn nicht, dann werde ich Sie erschießen. Haben Sie das verstanden? Jetzt wählen Sie das Foto, das in Ihnen Glücksgefühle auslöst. Well, this means you can flourish. This means you can escape. Interessant. Meinen Sie, dass dieser Mann unreines Blut hat, Bernhard? Ich weiß nicht, Frau Obersturmanführer. <lacht> ja, das werden wir bald wissen. Nicht wahr? Wow, okay. Diesmal wählen Sie das Bild, das Sie am meisten mit Abscheu erfüllt. Äh. Uh, probably this, but that's probably the wrong answer. Ich hätte sagen sollen, dass das Ihre letzte Wahl ist. Also wählen Sie weise. Dame schon entschuldigen, aber sie ist sehr stolz darauf, diese Bilderrätsel mit fremden Männern zu spielen. She is not so. <lacht> diese Bilder. <lacht> Urlaubsfotos. Also kriegt sie sure. Aufnahmen. <lacht> Gar nichts. <lacht> Davon abgesehen kann ich ein Nicht-Aria mit bloßem Auge erkennen. Du etwa nicht. <lacht> Lassen Sie ihn gehen, Werner. Ich nehme mal an, eine bildhübsche Frau wird in seinem Abteil warten auf ihn. Ach, Bobby. Lass gut sein. Vergessen Sie den Kaffee für Ihre Freundin. Kaffee at this point is gonna be fucking cold. Never mind. Kaifer World Tour begins in Berlin. Berlin, October 11th, 1960. Next month, the Dynamic Four will enter the stage inside the world-famous Volkschau to perform music from their latest album, Das Blau Ubut. 
Tickets to show to the show have already been sold out in record time. It's just phenomenal. The response we've had on this latest album, said the band's manager. Wolfgang Trapper. Die Kiefer, who got themselves in trouble last week when they forgot to thank the Fuhrer before starting their concert, has also announced they will star in a new TV show about the adventures of a world-famous boy band. Well, that was super fucking useful. Limestone deposits discovered in Croatia, Zagreb, October 11th, 1960. A rich deposit of limestone has been discovered a few kilometers north of Belica, Croatia. The geologists who surveyed the site said that there is an abundance of a special composition of limestone that is very suitable for the manufacture of super concrete. The material used the Reich architects when constructing new buildings. This could be our biggest find yet, commented the geologist when we rang her up yesterday. Um, where the fuck am I supposed to put this in? There we go. William? Yes. Is that for me? You know there's just one bed. Yes. Are you comfortable sharing? Yes. Sometimes Christmas. Sometimes birthdays. Sometimes mayhem. Suffering. And death. Sex scene. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to feel something good. I know where to go. A way to get inside Eisenbad prison. There's a hotel. It's on the same street as secret police headquarters. Everybody knows about it. Secret police headquarters is notorious here in Berlin. They bring prisoners inside for questioning. They torture them. And then they drive them back to Eisenwald prison. If they're still alive. Something's happening. There's a prison transport arriving. Come quickly. They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenwald prison. I go down and distract the guard. Maybe he won't see you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the freaking all the enigma and the letters were. Like, I thought I went through pretty much everything. Enya is distracting the guards by the prison transport parked by the street below. That tall building next to it is the secret police headquarters. If I get in there, I could find a way to the roof of the transport vehicle. Welcome back, kind sir. Have to lay low and make sure they don't see me. Alright, this is gonna be a fucking challenge. No, I did not. Um. Hey, I found the freaking letter. Nice. 
For once, I found something. Ah, to Father, to Father Helmut Hoffman, the Berlin Church of the Third Reich, at Ayacucho, Peru. Five dot point. So that would be April, uh, May eighth, nineteen fifty-five. Dear Father Helmut, did you know that that in mythology of the indigenous groups of Peru, the Quechuan people, there's a figure called Pishtaku, which is not be, be, to be confused with Pikachu, uh, or the Butcher. They describe him as a white murderer, dressed in a poncho and white-brimmed hat carrying a sickle, who extracts the fat from the bodies of the Quash Quechuans he kills. It may sound strange, but I think it speaks volumes of the relationship between the indigenous people of this land and the Spanish conquerors who came here long ago. I've been thinking about the Pishtaku more and more recently, with an accompanying anger brewing in my heart. A month ago, I lived close to a family of Quechuans here in Ayacucho, trying to convert them to the Roman Catholic faith. I became friends with the youngest child of the family, a boy named Hastu, which apparently means bird of the Andes. Hastu has been my guide in all things relating to the culture of Quechuans. Uh, it's quite fascinating, even though I weep for them and they may never come to paradise unless they convert to the true faith. Two weeks ago, I climbed the mountain of the Andes together with Hastu to visit the sacrificial grounds for the Apis, the mountain gods. The view from, the, from up there was breathtaking. What little breath I had left after that steep climb. I was to be the observer during this ritual to the gods, which involved the sacrifice of, sacrifice of a llama. I was to take notes and record their strange rituals and the paraphernalia thereof. Roman Catholic. Funny how Roman Catholicism, a religion that roots in Judaism, is at least in some capacity, is the state religion of the Third Reich. Well, technically, if you look at Three, the three main religions of the world, um, Judaism, Christi uh, Christianity, and um, the Muslim faith, they all originated from the same thing. They just believe in different deities, but that's about it. It's essentially the same religion. A lot of the a lot of the rituals in them are I don't know the media and stuff like that they kind of emphasis on the violent acts of you no know, of either the Quran or Judaism uh, the the, you know, the the Holy Bible and, and so on and so forth, but essentially at the the core of everything it's the same religion it's just that they believe in different in different um, prophets that's it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 yeah. It's stupid. But hey, um, extreme. In a, if you look at anybody that's fun, a, a fundamentalist or a, a extreme fanatic um, of any religion, faith, they're seated. Their belief is seated in not necessarily in truth, but whatever they read that fits their narrative. So. If you interpret something incorrectly and you have, you know, you have the mind of not, of seeing that for like reading, understanding it the way you want to understand it, well, then it'll just reinforce what they want. And that was basically it. Um, and I know I'm going to get like, you know, <laughs> talk about religion on, a, on, <laughs> talking religion on a, on a stream. Ah, that's a no, no. Close the, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take, <laughs> hopefully my, uh. My channel does not take in, be taken down. Uh, then our search, soldiers came. I remember the Quechuan shaman fa calmly walking up to the officer in charge. The officer leveled a gun to at his head and shot him clean, though. I shouted at him, What are you doing? And he said, Stay out of this, father. This is a sanctions purge. They started killing indiscriminately, killing everything that walked or tried to crawl away to safety. I managed to get hats, has to 
to run away before one of the soldiers knocked me out with the butt of his rifle. I woke up and there were no Quechuans left in Ayacucho. They were just gone. I searched for Hastu, but I couldn't find him. Either he was found and shot, or he managed to stay hidden up in the mountains. It pains me to see all these atrocities committed by my people. I am reminded, once again, of Pishtaku, the white murderers who came here and slaughtered these people for their own evil purposes. Can you speak to someone, Helmet, someone who can put a stop to this nonsense, this barbaric nonsense? It cannot go on, in the name of the Lord. I have packed my bag, bought warm clothes and sturdy shoes. I have even gotten hold of a gun, for protection. Tonight... I will go up in the mountains and search for my friend Hastu, and I hope to see a new dawn with when I return. Wish me luck. Your devoted friend, Father Erdman Kruger. <laughs> Serial killer on the loose. Murder duo suspect. Berlin, October 11th, 1960. The rash of murderers which has plagued the city for the last couple of months may be the work of degenerate murder duo, sources close to the investigation say. So far, five people have been killed. Each victim was found dismembered and scattered throughout the sewers. Witness reports speak of two strange men, most likely mentally and physically disabled, lurking around the crime scenes. They did not look like normal, decent Berlin folk to me, says one of the witnesses. Must have been them who did this awful thing. Alright, there's nothing else here. Okay. I don't understand why it doesn't disappear from the fucking map. charge but okay I'm supposed to do this stealthily no all right and I apologize whoever why is this red Why is this? Why is the thing where they're red? There's something here. That's what it is for. All 
All right. Um, yeah, so for the religion talk, um, I apologize if I offended anybody. Hope I didn't. Um, really? And there's things that were there's there's subjects that are touchy. I don't mind talking about them personally. Either it's religion, politics, whatever the case may be. I have my own views, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. And I'm respectful of everyone. I just, you know, and you know what? I'm not the type of guy that's gonna be like, oh, my way or the highway. You know what? If I believe what you're saying makes total sense, yeah, that's awesome. Right? But I haven't, like, I'm not going to believe you blindly. Let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, where am I supposed to go? There. Oh no, it's it's all good. Coin up. I was just saying if everybody was watching and the world is turning to shit. So, and everybody seems to be entitled to their own opinion. We've gotten to a point today where it's become normal to only believe like you have your thought process. You were brought up a certain way, believing certain things or whatever it is. And unless something fits your narrative, fits the way that you think, uh, people don't like when you ch you challenge that thought process. You know, like, okay, th that's great. Well, that was a gold plate. I got one. Yay! Is there anything here worth a hoot? Doesn't look like it. No, that doesn't do anything. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going at this point. To be honest. Um, I went through here. I went through here. There's really nothing really here. So I don't know. Hey YG, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. So as you can see, I have changed game. I have finished Metro Exodus and I'm playing another apocalyptic game, Wolfenstein The New Order. Uh, this was voted on by the people the great people of the internet. Um, yeah, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to fucking go. Really, to be honest. Like, where did I fucking come? I came in from here, no? There's nothing there. I can't go here. And up there, I'm. S there's nothing here. Can't go through that. I'm gonna. All 
Alright, so this. It's, uh, it's really fun. I played it before. Um, I actually lied in my last stream where I said that I don't, I never finished it. And apparently that was a lie because I actually made a review of it. However, I think I got confused with, um, I got confused with, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Um, the New Blood, which was one that came up after this. Why is this not working? Come on. I do not know where I'm going at this point. So I apologize in advance. Um, so this is the second floor. Where the fuck did I come in? I know I came in from somewhere. I just don't know where. Because I came into this room. And I saw the battery pack. And I saw everything. So that's fine. So I came in here. And I came in from there. But how the fuck? There's nothing here. There's no point in me built doing anything there. There's probably a place where I have to kind of go. Why? Really? Really? You gonna do this to me? Thank you. Oh, fuck me. Let's do this and I didn't even shit. I wasn't even a fucking commander. Come on, option. Okay, before I start looking around. I just came here for the armor. Um, you know what I mean? Inside the Siberian Training Grounds. Moscow, October 12th. Yes, a robo-dog. Inside the Siberian Training Grounds. Moscow, October 12th, 1960. Located near the northern part of Ur Ural Mountains. Not far from the Kara Sea, the Death's, Death's Head Commando Training Camps are considered to be the toughest in the world. In a series of investigative reports... We reveal how these fierce combatants manage to live through their days in extreme cold temperatures and how it makes them the superior warriors. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, I think it was to the, re the, the real bad guy. Um, still the bad guy gaming. I'm getting my name. My name's uh, weirded out. Um, if you want to see... I had done already a retro retrospective review on uh, Wolfenstein history, so all the games that came out from 1981 till the, this one, uh, this version. 
And then I reviewed the first one, uh, in-depth review of this game and also Wolfenstein 2. I've never done the new or uh, the old blood. So um, I may play this at one point. However, it is not on Game Pass. I'm playing this right now because it was a game that's on Game Pass. And it's worth every penny that I have paid for that. So... Oh, I got a map. Yay. Fucking awesome. I got a fucking map. There's actually nothing here. Oh. I don't know what that was. Nice. Got the guy pissed off without saying anything. Fucking fantastic. Alright, so I gotta go that way. Okay. Anything here worth a hoot? A little bit of flipping. Oh no, 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 no. Schichtwechsel, wir sind spät dran. Genau eine Minute, Hans, dann müssen wir aber los. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Ugh. Fuck. I wanted to check his desk and shit around his... Because I'm sure I missed some stuff. Ah. <sighs> Let's start from the last checkpoint. Hopefully I don't have to go too far back. And maybe it's for absolutely nothing. Oh, nice. Well, I only got one. First German lands on the moon. Berlin, July 21st, 1951. At 3.56 yesterday afternoon, astronaut Hans Amstark became the first man to walk on the moon. First contact with the moon's surface was made 30 minutes after Amstark and his co-pilot Emreich Otto. Uh, Emreich, okay, Otto. Steered the lunar module to its landing spot in the area known as Glimmer Bowl. After the landing, the two astronauts began their adventure on the moon by planting the beautiful flag of the Reich. They then started collecting soil and rock samples for further analysis back on Earth. I can't read German, so I don't know what these books mean. Can't turn it off? Ah, fuck off. Alright. Well, at least it was somewhat useful. I got to read some more stuff. 
eine Minute, Hans. Da müssen wir aber los. Mais j'ai compris. Euh, non, mais c'est marrant. Non, bah t'es une pas assez boule. Ouais, la merde. Is there a way of getting down there? Huh. Interesting, very, very interesting. I'm curious if I would have gone in the door at the bottom, what would have happened? Still. Seems to be very uh... well, that's that. I hope I get a gun at one point because this would be really cool like now um. right. well whoever is new to the stream watching welcome hope that you're having a wonderful Saturday night Locate Zenblack Block 2. Um. Use the laser cut change. Hold RT to cut. Sure, you don't have a gun there, bro. Really? Oh boy. All right. Well then. Yeah, I have to admit the AI in this game is re really, really stupid.
something. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Oh, I thought this was another exit. Shit. I have to get up there. Okay, this guy's dead. There's freaking lasers all over the place. Gefangene, vergessen Sie nicht, dass der Besitz verbotener Waren automatisch eine alarm has not gone on yet. Alright, uh, let's see. No one's carrying again, apparently. Assuming this door is locked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can cut through the fucking. There's gonna be a fucking wicked fight around here. I think I remember this from my first playthrough. A shot. Your your priorities in shouting is very odd. But it is what it is. Alright, scientists, Manhattan livable in just five years. Berlin, October twelfth, nineteen sixty. Manhattan has been a radioactive wasteland for the past decade. There have been few attempts to go into the Forbidden Zone because of the risk of lethal exposure to radiation. But now, scientists believe that they may have a way to turn the radioactive Ground Zero of New York into a livable environment in just five years. This technology could finally make atom bombs safer to use without destroying the environment, said Professor Johann Trout, or Trout, I don't know, uh, during this morning's press conference. I apologize for any name masking that I am doing. Back. All right. Um. Was? Was? Feuer! Ich 
Oh, fuck. The fuck? Why didn't the prompt show up? Oh, I got a road map. Yay. Okay. There's literally no question marks. So I got to kill the sergeant. He's dead, Jim. I thought this guy is supposed to give me the... I guess that I'm supposed to stealth kill. Ah, uh, fuck. Everybody taking a shit over here? No. Well, that was disappointing. Like, seriously, that was very disappointing. Uh, at least is there anywhere where I can find... Alright, maybe not. Fun, fun, beta ramp, beta ramp, deep, 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 boop, my dinner ramp. Okay. That was the only thing that was here. That's fucking disappointing. Disappointing as shit. I lost my fucking handgun. That's pissing me off. Come on. Come on. Way up. Then it's the end. Thank you for the host. the actual way I'm supposed to go but there's so many other places have to go there. I don't have any fucking weapons. I don't have anything, really. So there has to be a way of doing it without, with some sneaking. Fuck am I 
I supposed to go? Here? Yeah. And... Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, I have to go at the bottom? I don't know how the fuck am I gonna do this. Whoa there, buddy. There has to be something that my cutter can cut that will make being stupid. Knives. Yeah, well, here's some one B. It's supposed to be two. Gotta be in here somewhere. Shit. How the fuck am I gonna sneak? Locate the resistance members. All right. Here we go. Die Verarschtoffs. Mit dem Beton, da ist etwas nicht in Ordnung. Du mit. Okay. That's a glass. What's on top? So I could have taken the easy way. I ended up taking the hard way. So I apologize for Okay. 
shit. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Yeah, so let's... Let's start from the last checkpoint. <sighs> kind of, I think I'm gonna kind of stop it very soon. I'm starting to get late. And tomorrow, don't forget, I will be streaming Super Mario. Uh, Super Mario All Stars. Uh, sorry, Super Mario Maker Two. And tomorrow I'm going to be focusing more on the fan stuff and the, also the, um, the actual worlds that are created. And yeah, well, you're so long. B. It's supposed to be two. Gotta be in here somewhere. So, I went directly to the thing. There's zero advantage of taking the stairs. So, I don't know if I'm going to get to the same point or not. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. what side it's going to be on. La resistance. Can somebody help me get this dark thing off? There we go. Gosh, oh my. I thought I was a goner. And here you are, back from the dead. To save us all, imagine that. Oh, what have you been up to, Captain Blaskowitz? Quit shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. I said things straight, Wyatt. Fantastic. Well, let's get out of here, shall we? Hey! You close that door! Well, one of the guys is dead.
need a gun. Anything else in here? It's flashing. Yeah, the game uh, the game is actually pretty. Well, have you ever played? Um, it's you know what this reminds me of. This is a perfect example of like a 1980s action flick. That's basically the best way I can describe it. I'm supposed to go, but wasted way too much ammo on that. This reminds me of Old Doom with the music. There are you. You're dead, Jim. Who else is left?
Alright. Go straight. There's a secret area. This is so actiony. It's so amazing. I love it. first. Oh yeah, it kicks some ass. Let's go. Sorry, I haven't uh, really spoken much in the last little while. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to stay alive. Four of six. All right, I'm running down on fucking health. Oh, no problem. Thanks, going on. Thanks for passing by. I really appreciate it, as always. And thanks for the bits. And the host. And everything else you do for the channel. You rock, ain't sir. They look like they're ready to fucking go to war. Um. Hey, watch out! Okay. Oh, thanks. Uh, where do I have to go? It doesn't, it's not even clear where I have to go. Escape Eisenwald Prison. Okay.
Okay, where to, kind sir? I got the Enigma codes from here. Where the fuck do I go from here? Uh, good question. I always, I, I, what I don't understand is why it gives you more information if you kill, kill them stealthily than if you just kill them. In any case, a lot of times you just fucking kill them. The uh, commanders or lieutenants, whatever it is. I have no clue where the fuck I'm going. Oh, double shotgun, that must be so sweet. One thing I'm gonna say though, it's fucking hard to choose which one you want. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Where are we going? Like, where am I supposed to be going? Guess to A? So I think after this Dead end, Cap. What now? I can't believe you made it out of there. I can't believe it's not butter. Do any of you know how to hotwire a car? Daytime entrance into the Kreisau Resistance Headquarters is not advisable in the least. Never been attempted as far as I know. But the skies seem clear. No one's following us. I think we can make a little history today. This is a two-part maneuver. Done right, we should head perfectly into a blind spot. Everybody ready? 
the Nazis is they really are stupid. So long as we're hidden by this mist, no one will see us. Now, for the second part, the jump. Once we're underwater, hold your breath, swim after me. Stay submerged no matter what happens. There are Nazis all around. If you break the surface, they will kill us. Don't hesitate. Jump! I'm so sorry. There was no break in front of that hat when I left. The fuck? Gently. Whoa. Stand down. This is Klaus. He's one of us. He was a Nazi before, but he's on our side now. Easy, Johnny. How is this possible? We are in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. It's the last place they would have got. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down, Nina. Fuck me. B.J. Blaskovich. I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry. Yeah. Glad to have you back, Bart. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conch. Still in there. Severed <coughs> colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. So, what can you do? For your collection, Jay. Wow, so happy to, like, see you, man. What's it been, three months since they hauled you away? Thought you were dead, actually. You send people off to that prison, and they, like, don't come back, you know? It's a trip, and you brought some new cats with you, actual, like, reinforcements. It's cool, man. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, would you please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen in on these frequencies. Anything out of London... <laughs> And notice the time and write down as much as you can. Here is pen and paper. Can I do typewriter? You know how to type. Yes. My parents. I want to see where it's saved the last. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen awesome. on these free. All right, guys. Thank you so much for passing by and spending time with me tonight on this surprise stream. Um, I usually don't stream on Saturdays, but uh, circumstances led that I was able to. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that passed by, everyone that hosted me, Overrider, Wasteland Ruckus, Engineering Gaming Nerd. The Great Champino, Psychosis, Mr. Garf, 1988, Got to Choose, The Nixter, 15, Coin Op for the Host, 
coin op for the bits as well. Angry Gorilla and Dan Etienne. Thank you, YG, still the bad guy gaming coin op for chatting it up and keeping me company while I was playing. Really, really appreciated. Um, tomorrow night, I will be streaming Super Mario Maker 2. I will be playing more of the. I'm probably going to be playing more of the actual game itself, the levels that were created in the, within the game. And I will probably be playing fan made stuff. Um, on Twitter and on Facebook, I put um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I have asked people to provide, give me their maps that they created. And um, I'm planning to see what, what's going to come from that. Um, so let me know if you play Super Mario Maker 2 and you have made some maps. As long as it's not a troll map, which I will tell you. Um, I've had a couple of people give me troll maps. Um, I will uh, feature them on my stream and we will play them and I will rate them um, how good they are and, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's been some really, really good ones. I actually like the ones that are um, the ones that are fan made that are more obscure. Um, so I really, really appreciate that. So that's going to be tomorrow night. Um, so that's it for me for tonight. Thank you so much. Now I will do a favor for Mr. Coinop since he's been super supportive of the channel. I will um, make him. I will uh, rate him. So uh, Coinop. So thank you so much, guys. Have a good one, and I shall see you very, very soon. All right, guys. Um, if ever it decides to raid, pick a live raid, raid now. There we go.